Hello and welcome Prosperity Academy family to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to utilize and capitalize on this price action strategy in order to understand every move of direction in the market and how to confirm it and use it to gain profitability. So guys, without a further ado, let's hop straight into the price action. Now, as you can see on my charts, we are very clearly in an uptrend with breaks of structures, you know, marking out a structure. You can see we had a, a high, a lower low, a higher high. So there's our shift in structure. So we now know we are bullish, a higher low, a higher high, higher low, higher high higher low, very simple stuff, just understanding the raw nature of structure. You can now see, of course, again, we have a new higher high, expecting potentially to put in a new higher low and then a new higher high. However, one thing that many traders make the mistake in doing is forgetting to zoom out and understand the higher time frame intention. So if we just take a zoom out for a moment, we will gain a clearer picture into understanding exactly what the banks have intended for this market. First and foremost, you can see that order flow is bearish. So on the higher time frame, we are making this huge downtrend. If we drop to the four hour, you'll see it very clearly the essentially we have put in a swing low, a swing high, and this being our new swing low. And for that reason, guys, you can expect that at some point we are gonna make a new lower low. So when exactly can we confirm and understand when that lower low is coming? We drop down on the lower time frames and we understand the you know perceived bullish price action is more than likely temporary and we're waiting for a specific set of criteria to take place before we can get into a trade. So if we follow along with this price action and show you exactly what it is that we are waiting for to happen, we can understand that when we had a break of structure up here, we can see that this right here is our demand zone, our order block used to facilitate more orders and take price to a new higher high. Now, when the high gets broken again here, you can see our next order block or demand zone is in here. And guys, just a quick reference point, if you guys don't know supply and demand zones yet, you can find those details in our more premium products. Links are all in the description. Then what do we see? Essentially, we see the failure to break this high on multiple different occasions. We see a new high that's failed to break this high, a push down fails to break, fails to break. And so we are seeing the buying pressure kind of diminish. And then we see the aggressive selling pressure come into the market, which clearly kind of shows to us, hasn't confirmed yet, but definitely implies to us that there could be some bearish momentum entering the market. So what are we waiting to see? Change of character. Our change of character is essentially what tells us that price is going to go up or down because change of character, character just being there's two characters in the market. There is supply when price decreases and there is demand when price increases. And so if you look at price action like so and you see this occur, this usually is the demand zone in here, for example, the put in a new higher high, that there is a change of character. That is confirmation of a reversal, which usually leaves behind a supply zone that eventually gets mitigated, meaning price comes back to the level and from there sells off and continues, especially if that price action is overall bearish, right? Let's say price action looked like this. It's overall bearish. We just come back up to mitigate something and then we change character 
and then we can expect, of course, from there on price to essentially decrease. And so when we zoom out to understand, okay, what's going on here, very clearly we get to see that we are in areas of supply on the left hand side, marking out our essential supply ranges that we have tapped into. And now we are failing to break the highs and essentially are looking to take out the lows. So essentially what we need to see is this demand level right here break. If this demand level breaks, that is implication to us that there is more supply than there is demand, thus price is going to continue to decrease from this level. And so essentially if we get that change of character, that is our confirmation to enter. On the break of that level, which is our demand that put in the most recent high, on the break of that is a change of character. And you just have to ask yourself the question, where is the level of supply that caused the change of character? And here it is. It's the buy to sell where the momentum came in and it's still unmitigated. Now we know it's unmitigated because there is still imbalance between the first and third candle again, which is something that we go and explore in very fine detail in other content. So that is essentially our supply zone guys. And that is our confirmation that price is going to decrease because there are more sell orders than there are buy orders. And since we know that there is only actually one market participant, which is the banks that control all of the price action, we know that they have initiated their intention, which is to continue playing price where they want it to go. And so likely price is going to go ahead and take out this level down here. Why? Because it's just structure. Essentially, you can see if we zoom out, yeah, sure, we're bullish on the way up. And now we've realigned. And that realignment tells us that we're going to have the continuation and put in a lower low, just as structure would, just as you would expect normal structure to, right? Higher highs and higher lows usually produce new higher highs. Higher lows produce higher highs. And so what we can expect in here is just the same thing. It's just order flow. It's just structure. And now what we've had is this, right? We've had the confirmation that this is going. This in here is the change of character, which we've just seen in here. That is essentially what confirms a reversal. And so that's exactly how to use price action simply to understand the direction of the market and to capitalize on the moves. And so that is the trade that we would be getting involved in almost running to the edge of the supply zone. Of course, you would just put your stop loss just above the supply zone, just enough to keep you into the trade. I'm gonna go over here to the two hour time frame just to kind of um, speed this up. Again, another supply zone here that could get mitigated. I'm not sure if it does get mitigated, but it could be a second entry if it does. We'll see how that plays out. It may just run straight to profit. Okay. So you can see that it comes back. And you can just see that it stays in the trade. And you can see price just playing out. Of course, we have the bullish momentum now. Let's just see how that one plays out. It stays in. You can see why is that certain level getting respected? Because that is where the banks have orders set that will initiate supply. It's very easy to understand. And why the aggressive move back up? Well, we had levels of liquidity. So we needed to take out the liquidity before we could move to our end target. And there you have it. Just order flow. Of course, we was expecting these lower lows to be taken out because it's just structure. And more than likely now, we will expect price to come somewhere you know, into this range and then continue again, just as we would expect structure to. And so really and truly, the raw ultimate price action strategy is the ability to understand order flow, which is just structure, combined with supply and demand, and then using some of the little things like changes of characters to confirm these things in order to achieve profitability. There is a 15 risk to reward trade and an eight risk to reward trade. 
which is a very good return on your investment. And guys, thank you for watching the video. If any of you guys are interested in a step-by-step -step guide in how to execute this strategy from top to bottom on the exact multiple timeframes that we use, go ahead and click the links in the description. You can find our premium course and community to help you guide you on your journey to profitability. Thank you guys for listening and I'll see you in the next video.